Hey everybody, this is Mr. Horton with a series of video backup lessons for Studio Art 1, Studio Art 2, and Film Appreciation and Cinematography. <laughs> Vernie Arts, Iona Prep. Hi guys, Mr. Horton here for the next grade for street art. Uh, we are moving into probably one of the most crucial steps of this entire project, which is erasing in our bridges. This is going to count as a project grade. And the, again, the reason why this is a project grade and not a classwork grade is because the, the importance of this step is going to domino effect everything. So if this step gets screwed up, it is 100% going to screw up the final spray. Okay. All right. So let's go, let's get into this. Okay, so right now you have your projects looking like this. They were corrected, the lines were bolded, okay? I have emailed all of you a help image for the bridge step that looks like this. Now, the help image, you are going to see colors on it. Primarily, you are going to see the color yellow and you are going to see the color green. Everywhere that you see yellow on the help image is where... If I were doing your project, that's where I would bridge it. So the yellow spots are erase spots. So see everywhere that's yellow in the help image as being the background poster board. That's where you have to erase in a similar fashion to how I outlined it in the help image. You can exactly follow as I how I did it. You could completely throw what I did out the window and try to do it yourself. But it is there as a safety net in the event that some of you guys get confused with this. Okay? Some of you guys have way more bridges than other people. And then the opposite end is the color green. Now, if you see green anywhere on your picture, that means that you have to change the actual drawing line to what the green is. So just perceive the green to be exactly the same thing as the pencil line. Okay, so the yellow again is the background, the white erasing, and the green is positive space drawing. Now remember, it's not just about erasing sections so they touch. Like your goal of this whole thing is all the white areas have to touch all the other white areas. So it has to be one giant stencil. Okay, you don't want anything that doesn't have an entry point because when you end up cutting it away with the exacto knife, it will fall away like everything else. Okay, so for example, on Cap's bicep here, I have to connect this white to this white. And in my help image, you can see right here I have a bridge in yellow right here. So I'm going to go to this area and I'm going to, not only am I going to erase a bridge so it touches, but I'm actually going to clean up the line so that it has more of like a, a point on the ends. So now it more logically flows together. It's not just this goofy looking like, like block shape. Okay. I mean, you can do it like that if you're, if you're a fan of how that looks. I'm not. I'd rather have it like be a point. So when I trace this with the X-Acto blade, it looks more like flowy and organic, okay? On the same end, over here on the on the source image here, on the help image, I have two bridges by the eyes here and here, okay? So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to erase, and I'm just going to be drawing these lines like this. There's one bridge, so now this now, so now this connects through here. Okay, and the other side over here. Ooh, there we go. So let's go on to the actual finished uh, example that I have. I'm gonna I'm gonna erase out the uh, the bridge points so it looks like this. Uh, here is the finished. Uh, bridged drawing for street art. Now, again, I've gone through the entire help image and I've added in the bridges all over the place. And again, if I take my finger and I trace it through the picture on the white spots, I should be able to hit every single white spot in here. It's, it's a good way to do it. So I come out, I go around here. But yeah, again, honestly, I think some of you guys are going to naturally miss some stuff. I feel like I even miss some stuff 
when I was doing the help sheets on some of your more complicated ones. But yeah, here it is. And again, on mine here, you can see in these green spots, I had additive stuff and subtractive stuff. So for example, the star, I had to make it thinner because in my original drawing, the star went all the way to the edge here. Okay, but I couldn't do that because I needed to be able to get into this spot. So I had to shrink this prong, redraw it. Or in the case of up here, I actually made the prong longer so it naturally touched right here. So I got an entry point at the top of the star and then entry points at the lower points down here. Okay, so yeah, like I said, use the help image or don't use the help image if you're anti-using it. Erase in the bridge spots. Yellow is erase. Green is add with the pencil. So the green is the same as the pencil line. Yellow is the same as the background erasing gone negative. Okay, this counts as a project grade. This is going to be due in about a week. Good luck. If you have any questions about the assignment, email me or refer to the project on Google Classroom. See you in class.